Hello all and welcome to another episode of Everyday Black History. Now today on Everyday Black History, we're going to be highlighting two brothers, two, two inventors who invented things that are extremely important today. One, his name is Thomas J. Martin, and he received the patent for the fire extinguisher. The other is A.C. Richardson, who invented a number of things, but one of the things that he invented as most well, that he's most well known for is the casket lowering device. Now, A.C. Richardson, also known as real name Albert Richardson, is from Michigan, and he was a prolific inventor who created useful tools at the tail end of the 19th century during the 1800s, and it displayed his talent for crafting devices across a variety of, of, of areas. Now, one of the things that he's known for creating is the butter churn, which he uh, created in 1891. But he also uh, patented the device, as mentioned, that would aid gravekeepers in lowering caskets to the ground. And that was in 1894 when he received the patent for that. Now, he came for the idea for this invention because he observed how cemetery workers would bury the dead in shallow graves and would use um, a crude technique of lowering a casket into a deeper hole. The work required uh, a lot of manpower, and often the workers would drop the casket and damage it. So to solve the problem, uh, he devised a system consisting of a series of pulleys, ropes, and cloths that lowered a balanced descent for the lowering of the casket. Now when he filed the patent, he filed it, and he, the patent filing reads as, My invention relates to improvements in casket lowering devices, and the object of my invention is to is the provision of a simple, durable, and inexpensive device adapted to be fitted in the trench or ditch which receives the casket to prevent the dirt from falling from the edges of the ditch and which will lower the casket without danger of the same falling as is frequently the case with the present manner of lowering caskets and which cause such horror to those who respect the dead. So you can imagine how those loved ones might have felt when these men were lowering the caskets and it fell and the casket got damaged. So to you know honor the dead and seeing this need, Albert Richardson created the casket lowering devices, device that you know is still in use today. Of course, many improvements were made, but he was the mind behind that um, initial invention to make that possible. Now, as mentioned, he invented other things. He invented um, the butter churn, as mentioned, but the casket lowering device is his most durable and lasting creation, and the method is still currently being used today. Now, the other man that we're going to highlight, as mentioned, was Thomas J. Martin, and Thomas J. Martin received the patent for the fire extinguisher. Now, not a lot is known about Thomas Martin, um, but we do know that in 1872, he received the patent for improvements to the fire extinguisher. Now, another man is credited as creating the fire extinguisher, but it was Thomas J. Martin who uh, created the improvement um, where there was a reservoir attached to it, which allowed water to be used to douse flames. Now, when he, uh, um, you know, put in for his patent, he stated his patent as being used in this way. He's, he says the nature of the nature of this in, of this invention relates to the construction, arrangement, and combination of suitable of suitable pipes and valves for conducting water from suitable reservoirs to buildings by means of stationary engines for the purpose of preventing or extinguishing fires in dwellings, mills, factories, towns, and cities and may also be used for warning, ventilation, and washing buildings, and for washing pavements and sprinkling streets. So, not only did he create something that was to extinguish fires, he also created something that could be used for cleaning, and that had many other uses besides the extinguishing of fires. Now, as mentioned, a British man is credited with creating the modern-style fire extinguisher, but... Thomas Martin's improved version is often regarded as the first practical use of the machine of the machinery by many historians. So 
just think that these two men created things that were revolutionary for his time and that's still being used today. So, uh, Albert Richardson and Thomas Martin, we want to thank you for your contributions to black history, and we salute you. And that concludes this episode of Everyday Black History. Please tune in again as we'll be highlighting more people, more institutions that uh, contributed to black history and that covers the whole African diaspora. Black Americans, Africans, Afro-Latinos. So please stay tuned.